Charging Wildcats. Today is Friday, October 20th, which means it's National World Students Day. I'm Brianna Williams. And I'm Taylor Barrow. It's also National Suspender Day, so let's strap up and get on with our announcements. It is the time of the year again. The North Little Rock High School Theater Arts Program is excited to present a delightful quarantine. The shows will run October 25th to October 27th. Tickets will be $3 and sophomores, juniors, and seniors will purchase their tickets from your first period teacher. Freshmen will purchase their tickets with their sixth period teacher. You have to bring a physical ticket on the day of the performance. Any student who prefers not to purchase a ticket will attend study hall for the duration of the performance. Seniors and juniors will attend the October 25th performance. Sophomores will attend the October 26th performance and freshmen will attend the October 27th performance. For the senior and junior performance, only 900 tickets will be sold. Once we hit the 900 number, we will inform you all that we will no longer be selling tickets for the juniors and seniors. Freshmen and sophomores will have no limit tickets. There will be a track tryout for girls and boys, 9th through 12th grade. The tryouts will be Saturday, October 28th at the NLR Stadium. All participants should have a physical and consent form on file with the athletic office. If you do not have a physical and consent form, you will not be permitted to try out. See Coach Calvin in room C321 or Coach Abdullah in the new gym to sign up. On Monday, our North Little Rock High School marching band competed in the ASBOA Region 1 marching assessment. Fourteen bands from across the region competed and we were one of only four bands to receive a superior first division rating. We are incredibly proud of the students and their directors. Brandon Wilson, Michelle Smith, Beth Madar, Brandon Brockington, and Pat Lindsay. Staff and underclassmen, please remember that makeup days for school pictures will be held Tuesday, October 24th. Anyone who missed taking school pictures must take one on this day. It's your last chance to make the yearbook pictures. Juniors and seniors who are interested in taking the ASVAB exam on November 8th need to sign up in the Guidance Center by November 3rd. The ASVAB is a timed multi-aptitude test which is given at over 14,000 schools and military entrance processing stations nationwide and is developed and maintained by the Department of Defense. Last weekend was our homecoming dance and we wanted to know your impression of it. So our own Sarah Douglas talked to some of you about it. First reaction when the fire alarms went off at the homecoming dance? It was crazy. Everybody was running and I don't know, it was it was pretty wild. Shoot, I was straight, I wasn't there yet. But when I saw that line, woo! Hey, um I was like, this is so North Little Rock, only us. I was just like, wow. Just like, wow. They didn't like him because it messed up me and my girl dance. I was trying to, you hear me? A little some, a little some. Uh, it was pretty terrifying. Thought we were all going to burn down, but it was already hot in there, so it wasn't much of a difference. And I had to walk back down the stairs. It was like irking because I had to run, and it was hot, and I was sweating off my makeup. Like, the fire alarms were too much. It was crazy. There was fire everywhere, and I didn't know what to do. I kind of just evacuated, and I was kind of scared for my life, you know? The fire alarm went off? The scale 1 to 10, how fun was homecoming? 15. I get about a 6.5. Like a 26. A 26, thank you. It was actually fun. I'll give it a 10. 100. 100. An 8 because it was really hot. That knocked down two points. Yeah. Oh, wow. 6.97. Probably a good 8. Like a 1,000. A 1,000? Um, 1,000. It was like a 10. It was lit. A 10. 20. I think you should let my uh, my eyes do that. His eyes are dilated. And, <laughs> and if you could change anything at the, about the dance, what would it be? Um, How hot it was. If it, I wish it wasn't so hot. Yeah. I wouldn't wear makeup, real talk. Yeah, I did. Make it cooler. 
the air conditioning. Pretty hot, pretty hot. The air? Air conditioning. Everyone's saying that, okay. The fog on the windows, I would like to see out. And the slippery floor. Oh yeah, that was, that too. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, nothing, it was great. Okay. The theme. Yeah, the theme. Um, let's not have fog machines next year because I don't want the fire alarms going off again. Um, the strobe lights. I had a seizure. You had a seizure? Yeah. I'm sorry. I was just kidding. <laughs> music. Okay, I feel like the music was okay though. The music, it was alright, but they should have played some more stuff that we could we could sing to. Like, all the cha-cha slide, it won't, it won't cut it. Tonight is our last regular home season game. Our undefeated Wildcats are facing Fort Smith Northside at 7 o'clock. And it is also senior night. It's also our pink out game in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So make sure to come out and support our boys. And we will have a prep rally at the end of the day. So to tell you more about all of this, here's Sports on the Hill. I got to testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. I'm going to touch the sky. Got to testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'm going to touch the sky. Back when they thought pink colors Get up! Happy Friday, Wildcats, and welcome to Sports on the Hill. I'm Carly Crump. I'm Jacob Delshaw. And I'm Henry Hart. On Tuesday, Varsity Volleyball had their senior night against Cabot at home, finishing out with a dub. Last Friday, our football boys showed out against Catholic, beating them with a score of 51-17. Great job, guys. This Friday is our last home game of the regular season against Fort Smith Northside. Be sure to come out in all of your pink to support our seniors and breast cancer awareness. Now, after seeing those awesome predictions from last week, let's see what our fellow Wildcats think our score for tomorrow will be. Let me know your prediction for tomorrow's game. I feel like we're gonna beat Butt. You know what I'm saying? We're North Little Rock. We got this baby. Yeah. 500 to 7. Man, first of all, it's gonna be a realistic score. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say like 40, 42 to 14 or something like that. So what do you predict tomorrow uh, for the game against Northside? Um, I feel like we're gonna win. It's gonna be like a thousand points to like two. Alright, um, what's the predictions for your uh, for the game tomorrow against Northside? You know what I'm saying? We're going to do them senior night, so it's going to be about 51 to 3. Already. 52 to 3. Already. Already. So what are your predictions for the game tomorrow against Northside? Uh, uh, 100, uh, 100 to 0. Uh. So what's your prediction for the game tomorrow against Northside? I think it's going to be a blowout. It's Northside versus Northside, you know. We're the bigger team. We're going to take that win. We, you know, we're going to hand them an L. Big L. And I'm calling an interception with my man Malachi. Over there, pick six. Pick six tomorrow. Pick six tomorrow. So, what's your prediction for the game tomorrow against Northside? Well, 500 to zero. Well, that's all we have for you this week, cats. Be sure to tune in next week for all of your sports announcements. Take it easy. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Remember that if you have any announcements or comments, you can contact us via email at nlrtv at nlrc.org. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at nlrtv4 and on Instagram at nlrtv underscore nlrhs. And please subscribe to our nlrtv YouTube channel. Don't, don't forget, forget those party parts on Monday! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>